guys. Um, you know, credit to the guys up front, you know, doing their job. Um, you know, I, I think, I don't know if the punt was supposed to be in that location, but, you know, I, I caught it and, you know, there's there a lot of green green ahead of me. You had guys blocking downfield for me. Um, it was just my job to, to read those blocks and, and try and put it in the end zone. Yeah, we saw some things um, based on, you know, what their their formations were and where the punt, um, you know, we thought was, was supposed to be. And, and when I when I caught it where I was, I knew I knew I had a chance, you know, with with all that green in, in front of me and guys, guys just just battling, and scrapping, you know, to, to lay blocks out there. You know, it was, it was next man in. You know, obviously Kate's Kate's a big leader for us, you know, and, and Deacon stepped in, um, played some played some big snaps, um, you know. But as a defense, you know, we were just focused on on our job and and what we can do to to stop them and and help them help them with field position. Our spot win for us, um, you know, it's it's a four quarter game. You know, we, we might not have played our best in the first half, but you know, we we came out and kept kept fighting, you know, in that in that second half, and, and things started to go our way. Okay, so obviously very happy about the the win, and just uh, really proud of how strong the team came together tonight. Uh, it was a tough battle out there, and obviously it's important to uh, win any football game you get a chance at. But I think the bigger bigger story right now is just the display of re resilience that we saw from all of our players and. Uh, at the end of the day, that, that can win a lot of football games, and certainly I think was a factor tonight for us. Uh, impressed how Deacon stepped in, tough circumstance and disappointing, uh, most mostly for Cade. Uh, to go down early with an injury like that, we really don't know his status till early next week, but uh, it's nonetheless very disappointing. I can only imagine how he's feeling, but I thought Deacon stepped into a tough situation. Really did a good job leading our football team and, and uh, making good decisions, especially in the second half. Uh, in some critical situations, so he really, really did a good job. So, uh, obviously, offensively, didn't have a lot of rhythm. Had a couple of good drives in the first half, and then uh, didn't have a lot of rhythm uh, during that part. And it's kind of like a multiple uh, array of things. Defensively, you know, um, want to get off the field a little quicker at times, that type of deal. But I thought they showed resiliency and kept uh, kept our opponents out of the end zone. That was certainly, you know, a big, big deal. And. Yeah, I think the bottom line is like, you know, you watch the game, you can see a lot of things uh, going on. We've got a lot of young guys and uh, some of it's mental, some of it's physical, but we obviously have a lot to work on, you know, and uh, we'll get back to that tomorrow. I think the coaching staff's well aware of what we're trying to get done here, what we need to get done and the challenge is to get it done and move faster as we move forward here. So, um, you know, we got plenty of work to do. I'm not going to let that ruin tonight, that's for sure. It's just uh, really proud of our team's resilience. And, you know, bottom line right now, we're four and one, puts us at one on one. And uh, to, to get back up on our feet after a really tough week last week, just proud of our guys. So that's where we're at right now. We'll celebrate, enjoy the sink tonight, and then we'll go back to work tomorrow. Well, I mean, he's, he's a different style quarterback. Uh, obviously, he's a big quarterback, but he throws the ball well. Uh, it's his strength, I think. And, um, you know, I thought, I thought tonight we hadn't really seen him in game action, you know, where the game's on the line. And I uh, thought he showed a lot of good things today. So you know, we'll start with that and just keep pushing forward. And his uh, uh, wherewithal, his, his presence, you know, on the bench and, and with uh, on the headsets was really good, encouraging. So that's, that's also a good thing. Well, you know, Deacon, unfortunately, he's gotten more practice. I don't mean that in a negative way, but he's practiced more than we would have a normal number two guy would because of uh, Cade's, you know, first issue. And um, so, I, you know, I think I bene you know, benefited him a little bit tonight. but. It's one thing to practice; it's another thing to step in there when the game's on the line, which it was. And we had a lot of a lot of football to play. And I thought I thought he showed good poise and poise out there. He played with confidence, and his teammates. Uh, I think you can see they they rally around him. They made some good throws and had some uh, other ones we can probably improve on. But uh, you know, I thought he did a good job for the first time in, in really critical time. <laughs> I was like, run, Cooper, run! You know, it takes off, makes two guys miss, and then I'm like, my eyes start to get wider and wider. And then he breaks through, and I'm going nuts, running down the sideline, you know, screaming. Well, the whole sideline was. So I mean, it was it was great. Uh, definitely a cool feeling to see that. Um, it was like I said, surreal. Very hyped up. You know, it was a great drive we put together um, all around. You know, couldn't have done it without Eric. Couldn't have done it without the O line. And so I think we we're all virtually the same uh, same amount of hyped. I should say. Surreal. I think everybody knows that, especially a night game at Kinnick. You know, it's what dreams are made of. So I mean, it was surreal. Um, it was a lifetime experience that I'll never forget. Uh, but especially the best part was being with my team, you know, us pulling it through and winning. Um, you know, it's very quick, very quick turn of events. But, 
you know, we prep all week, Coach Bud and Brian, you know, really um, state that even if you're not the starter, you have to prepare like the starter. So it's all about just doing my job. Um, so when Kid went down, you know, whether he's in or I'm in, you know, we have to do our jobs to help this It was good for us to get back on our feet uh, this week. Uh, I feel like we did a great job just communicating. Uh, guys were aligned right. Um, I feel like we did a great job of trying to eliminate the big plays. They had a lot of gadgets, reverse. I think they reversed it twice. Uh, Quinn Schulte made, made a, a veteran play, but it was just good for us to come out there and, and compete together as a team. Uh, Definitely, and it's, just, it's our job to make sure we get a, a third and long in Kinnick. Um, I feel like if you can get a team third and long in Kinnick, any end zone, honestly, uh, it'll be really hard for them to convert. Uh, just the communication the offense has to go with. When you, you can't hear the guy next to you, it's, it's hard to play football, it's hard to think. Uh, I just feel like we learned a lot about our team today. Um, I mean, we, this is our first time being down to opponent and coming back. Um, and I felt like we did a great job staying together. Uh, just the ups and downs of the game. I felt like we did a great job both sides. Just, uh, uh, just trying to solve the problem and, and move forward. Well, on the first play where I got an open space, I um, really was just focusing on getting out clean. And um, all week, it's, it hadn't been a, uh, like a great release and uh, like off the line. And um, that's really all I was focusing on. And like the rest was just, he just threw it and I had to catch the ball first because I had a terrible drop in the um, earlier on. But um, focus, on, focus on catch the ball. And then when I turned, I was just like, wow. It was just nothing but green grass. <laughs> so um, I just had to run. And I was, as I was running, I was thinking about cutting back. But then I also was just, in my head, I was just, hey, man, just get these yards and get out and, you know. But, and then I think I went out for a little bit after that play. And, um, <laughs> did I, which one? Oh, the, the third catch, or the second catch was the on the sideline, the other sideline. Um, that was just uh, another play action pass. And, um, and again, I was worried about getting out in, in the other release and the selling the run on that uh, play. And, they all bit, and I just seen like my route was to get out. It was like a corner or something, and um, like I don't even think I ran the corner. I just ran straight to the spot, and Deke was ready and threw me the ball and put it put it on the money. And then what was the third play? Touchdown! Oh, touchdown! <laughs> um, um, on that play, it was just I just couldn't I just couldn't believe that I scored. I just was I just. At first, I thought I was I was just stuck, but then I seen all the blockers come, and I just hit the hole, and somehow stayed on my feet. And uh, like halfway through, I was like, "Oh snaps! I gotta secure the ball," uh, because obviously I had a terrible fumble last last week. But um, I just had the ball. I felt like I had the ball all over the place. So I went to tuck it. Then I just seen the goal line right there. And I was like, screw it, and just reached out and put the ball over the goal line. I just, I called him in the um, training room coming back in at uh, halftime. And, um, you know, I just loved on him and told him I have his back and was praying for him and, you know, to keep his head up and, and keep fighting, you know. Just, just awful.